Hello and welcome, it's Mr. C. I'm just going to go through a couple of ways that you can record your presentation so that you can automate some of the work. All right, so here we have a slideshow uh, right there, and I want to try setting up and using Screencastify. And now I'm suggesting Screencastify only because certain school accounts do allow it and get um, more access using Screencastify, how to set that up. But uh, you can also use other programs like the one I'm using right now called OBS. All right, let's go take a look at the Screencastify and how to sign in and get that all started. So the main thing here is the you want to be able to add the Chrome extension, and this should be straightforward, uh, and you can then just add to Chrome, and hopefully it will have permissions that will let you do so. Certain Chromebooks won't let you do that, but hopefully that'll just work. Once you've got that, you can go on back to the original. I think it's in now. Looks like it's in. So now I'm gonna, oh, oh, ah, I just clicked away. All right, let's try it again. All right, so it's all ready, it did install, great. Okay, so now I can then make my recording. So what I w what I'll need to do is allow it, it'll ask for permissions, it'll ask you to sign in using your student account. Uh, and that's all pretty straightforward through the Google Suite access. And then once it loads, you should be able to start your video. All right. Let's take a look, see. Um, so it's going to need that, that access, which is up here. Uh, and you're then going to need to enable your mic and then open the extension. So I will just double check. It's asking for access. I don't know if this is showing on your screen, but hopefully it is. Uh, it, and once it's got permission to access, there we go. It's now, uh, let me just see if I can capture this screen as well. One sec. All right, here we go. So uh, as you can see, it's asking me to set up my camera and set up my, uh, once I click on the browser there, uh, on the Chrome extension, the top above the address bar, it's asking me to set up my microphone and set up my camera. If you don't want a, ca a webcam showing your face, that's fine, but setting up your microphone is an absolute must. Now, I'm currently using these on OBS, but you click on that, make sure you select your, se your correct microphone. I'll just see if it'll let me. It probably won't because I'm using it. Sometimes you might end up with... Um, a little pop-up somewhere else on either side of the address bar asking for permission. All right, so once that's set, you should be able to enable it. It'll ask, ask to allow, please click allow. And it, there is no webcam on this one, so that should be pretty straightforward. And then it should be pretty well ready to go and I need to open up that extension. Let's try this again. There we go. So now you can see it's got the record option here. If I had a webcam, you could Im embed that as well. And you can also select your microphone drop down if you have more than one option. All right, so that's it. Now you've got the extension. You click on the extension little button up here on the right. Then you click on Screencastify, and you now have options to record your desktop. Now, please keep in mind, this records the entire desktop. So it'll include all the stuff at the bottom of the screen, everything. So if you only want a particular browser, you can ch select just the one browser. I'm only going to be showing this slideshow as a quick sample. So I'm going to select just browser tab and I'll click record. It failed to start recording. I'm not sure entirely why. I'm gonna try that one more time. Click on there. Let's try the whole screen. It doesn't matter if it gets the whole desktop to me. And oh, on the other side, let me, uh, it's asking on my other monitor, what do I want to show? And it's asking, do I wanna show my entire screen? And I select yes. Uh, I, here, let me see if I can show you what that looks like. I cannot. Okay, sorry about that. But anyway, it does it does show up and I click select and it will now start recording the entire screen. Now, I can open up my tab and I can start my slideshow. I might need to trim off using editing software the beginning and end. But anyway, once you get going, you can open it up and you can then progress through your slideshow talking about whatever you need to. And then once you're done, you thank your audience and you're done and you click the stop sharing button.
Okay? So I hope that gets you started in using Screencastify, a reasonably straightforward method for recording your desktop presentation. Thank you.